Hi, welcome to Load Runner Tutorials. Today we are going to learn how to create a scenario in controller. In previous lesson you have learned so how to create a goal oriented scenario in Load Runner controller. Okay. Today I am going to explain how you can create a manual scenario in order to run your test scripts like uh, web services or HTTP script. Okay. So let's start our session. So what is the prerequisite? So you require Vision script means web services are HTTP request uh, script which is uh, prepared in uh, virtual user controller. Okay. And uh, you should require the what is the test records you want to run. Okay. So what is the test records? Let's see. So in our runtime settings, we are going to giving the details as how much how many iterations you want to run right so suppose you want to run for eight hours okay you want to run for eight hours and uh, you have selected virtual users as how many suppose 50 virtual users okay so let's uh, identify you don't know what is the hits per second you don't know what is the hits per second okay Suppose your uh, hits per second is 5 or more. Okay. So when you're coming to here, 8 hours and 50 users, 50 virtual users, and which is hitting 5 or more. So if you are running with 8 hours, means your total hits will be about 3 lakhs. Okay. Your total hits will be about 3 lakhs okay so when coming to manual scenarios you can't uh, verify whether the this many hits should be taken from controller okay so what is the difficult uh, difficult means if you want to run for hits per second should be five or six then you can go for goal oriented scenarios if you don't want to run hits per second maybe five or any other so you can use manual scenarios so which is a percentage based you can run number of scripts you can run number of scripts randomly so controller what will do it will automatically give the percentage so like 100 percent 50 plus 50 one script is 50 another script is 50 percentage so what are the load you have taken suppose 50 virtual users right okay 25 virtual users are one script another 25 virtual users on another script so like this it will divide as per the virtual users as well as percentage based okay so runtime setting you have to give the runtime setting suppose your hits will be increasing day by day sorry it is per hour it is increasing right so you you have to provide the maximum data if you are using manual scenario I have, when i am doing the when I am doing the manual scenarios for uh, load testing, I used to take the 2,50,000 test records so in order to maintain, I am using this is the test data I am using for running my web services or HTTP request. Okay, 2,50,000 test records I am using. Why? Because if you are using very less records, so those records will be randomly used means it is repeatedly so we don't want to repeat our script test script test data so in order to maintain unique data okay let's uh, runtime settings you will give test data cutting time okay pacing log everything controller scenario percentage based or normal if you have seen here it is showing manual scenarios as well as goal oriented scenario here we are using manage your load test by specifying the number of virtual users to run Use a percentage most to distribute the virtual user among the script. I have given right 50 users as per the 50 50 50 users will be divided into two 50 users 50 percent will occupy by 25 50 percent occupy by another 25 users. Okay, same like this you can use next number of virtual users it should be calculated based on production data. Okay, you need to get the from developers. So what is the duration like one hour, two hour, 
four hours. So this is the duration. Okay. Hits per second it will automatically provide. I will show you. So let's start the tutorials. If I have open here, it is showing as. So I am loading the script. This uh, I need manual oriented scenario, right? So we don't require any goal oriented scenarios. So which will be percentage mode? Just browse the script. Just select the script to wherever the script is located. Okay, just go to your file sample file sample script I am using. Just click on OK. Here I have added sample script, right? Then it will load this scenario window. So it is having sample script script path. Okay, virtual location is a none and the percentage mode is hundred. So I have explained right. If you want to run for two script, it will give you fifty fifty percentage. Okay, and this only we will see in the next lesson. Load generator I have not selected. You can select. So local host why because server is installed on our local and uh, here it is giving scenario schedules scenario real world basic schedules so if you click on initialize initialize the usual is how you want to initialize simultaneously or one by every 15 or 5 seconds initialize each virtual user just before it runs if you click on okay as well as uh, apply it will apply over there see it is giving details If you click on this one, it will give you the each and every step details. It is highlighting right duration. It is a stop watch for user. How you can stop? If you have click uh, this scenarios, we are going to use real world scenarios. So why? Because we want to mimic real world uh, users. So we are going to use start watch for users simultaneously. We can use and you can use every two, every three or anything. So I am taking here only two users for you want to. You can uh, verify this one. Just two user at a time. It will be activated. Means it will start virtual users. Okay. Two. If I am selecting one virtual user, if you click on one, it is giving every 15 seconds. It will virtual user will be activated. See. And after that, it will start. See. This is my five minutes. I am using run until completion. You want to run for until completion? You can run. Okay. Until the virtual user is going to stop. Okay, so we will not use this one, and click on no. Just run for. Just give how many days, how many seconds, how many minutes. So I am giving three minutes. So it is giving the details right. Ten seconds, three minutes. So it will run for three minutes, fifteen or thirty seconds. So how you will stop your virtual users after completion of your test script duration? So every 30 seconds I have given. So each virtual user is going to stop. Every 13 or 10 seconds I have given. Each virtual is going to stop. Okay, this is like this. You can prepare the scenario. So every 3.15 seconds, 3.25 seconds, 3.25 seconds. Right? It will start from zero. See, it will highlighting. If you click on this one, you can identify durations. And it is a stop virtual user. If you click on it, it will identify let's say global schedule. So like this, you can uh, prepare your uh, scenarios. This is SLA. We will see in the next lesson. This is a run tab. You will see the different start scenario, stop, reset. So I'm going to changing the this path so that uh, you can. Uh, it why because it will occupy more space in. Uh, You are local C. So instead of using a C drive, just uh, go for uh, any other drive if you have a space. So it is good for you. So all the result will be saved under this temp folder. So I'm giving the number. So automatically it will uh, save and the result name will be saved. So if you have created created those check boxes there, automatically overwrite or automatically create the result directory. So don't overwrite any time. So each each time you have to create the. It is giving the graph C. Start scenario, stop, reset, run, stop virtual users. Everything it will give you running, elapsed time, hits per second, past, failed, errors. Okay, design stage. These are my created right. Three minutes. So let's see. Let's start our scenario. This is a graph. It will display here. What are the Existing, it is running. You will see here one is down, 
one is running every 15 seconds one will be activated so why it is giving error means it is giving some xls data is missing new line is missing so it is not a problem see here hits per parser transactions are increasing hits per seconds also increasing so in goal oriented scenario what will happen hits per second you are going to provide so until that hits per seconds will be activated but in manual scenario there is no there is no control about your uh, hits per second it will be anything it will run until 3 minutes okay we have seen hits per second is 45 46 see controller is hitting so it is there running to virtual users you have seen right elapsed time is it will be increased up to 3 minutes so should reach to 3 minutes then it will stop your script each virtual users will be stopped after 120 seconds it is giving us 120 seconds running to virtual users Each per second is increased. See, it is running. We should click on virtual users. Script name, elapsed time, okay, load generator. Everything will run. This is the load generator. It is automatically connected. If you have connect, not connect, when you run a scenario, automatically it will connect. See, pass the transactions are increasing like more. I have given the pass the transactions are increasing. 6,546, 6,720, 6,008,000, it is increasing, right? As per hits per second, 82.97, 82.54. See how it is increasing. Now 7779468089. 7927, how it is in 80 second, 80 hits per second. So that's why you have to take more test data. So that's why I'm taking two lakhs fifty thousand test data. So why because per second how much it is? It is eighty one hits per second. It is very huge, right? So my server is handling. So it will complete it, the script execution. Then it will generate your analysis report automatically. You have to just go to result folder. Okay, you, there you can see analysis report. Just uh, see 2.5556. See 3.01. So let for stopping virtual user it will take time. I have given 10 seconds. Right, each virtual user is going to stop in every 10 seconds. 3.25 until 25 it will run. It is stopped, right? After 10 seconds, one more will be stopped. See, both the virtuals are stopped now. Every 10 seconds, right? That's why. So totally, the elapsed time is 3.25 seconds. Get stop in 10 seconds. Okay. So like this, uh, you can prepare your manual scenarios. Okay, here it is giving 3.15, 3.25 until it will run. Okay, your analysis report will be generated. So in this way, you can prepare manual uh, scenarios in controller. Okay. Thank you thank you for watching my video please subscribe to my videos and please provide comments or suggestions or if you have any questions please provide in the form of comments okay thank you